because on the square root of 32, is 32 a square number? No. So what we have to do now is apply our rules of radicals. I'm going to want to separate 32. I'm going to want to separate 32 into a product of two numbers. And can I break up 32 into a square number? Is there a square number that divides into 32? 16 and 4, right? You always want to choose the highest square number to make sure it's simplified. 16 is the largest square number, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into 16 times 2. Now, just for this part, I usually don't go to this next step, but just for this process, I'm going to do that. Based on my rules of radicals, if I have 16 times 2, does it make sense to break that up into square root of 16 times the square root of 2? Yes. Yeah, that's using that rule of radical, right? So for this example only, I'm just going to do it this way. I usually don't do this next step. I just usually skip this step just because it's, you know, it's extra work. Um, so now, can I rewrite the square root of 16 as a number squared? 4 squared, right? However, can I rewrite 2 as a number squared? So guess what? I can't use the identity element on this. So guess what? It stays. So my final answer is 4 square root of 2. Anybody have any questions?